Hi, everybody. Let me begin by apologizing. I thought yesterday was Tuesday. No, today is Tuesday. So good morning. It's supposed to be Monday, but it's not. It's Tuesday. And let's see. It's yep, September 15th. Today we are working on the right landing gear. So in the last video, we took care of the left landing gear and had that secured in, or the main leg, I should say. In this video, we are doing the right gear, and you can see me in the background there in my little onesie, and I'm filing down the main gear leg, as I did for the left side. And I like the I like the, the, the one-piece jumpsuit for work. The only problem is it doesn't fit quite right. Uh, it's a little tight in the crotch, you know what I'm saying. Alright, so filing the leg is the easy part. Once we get that done, now, the difficult part's actually getting back in there to work on everything. So, on the left gear, it wasn't too bad because I was able to use my dominant hand to get the uh, torque wrench in there and sort of hold it in place. And that's, and, that, and that's a big thing. You'd be surprised how often one thing on one side of the plane is harder to do because you don't get to have your put your dominant hand in to uh, use a tool that, you know, with your non-dominant hand just doesn't work quite as right. Right? You know what I mean? Uh, tomorrow morning, get up and brush your teeth with your other hand. See how that feels. You see, you see what I'm saying. Okay, so, apparently, besides moving the camera around a lot, so here we are, the legs in place. So you can see the gear legs sticking up there, and it's sort of buttressed up right next to uh, that top horizontal uh, bracket. So now that that bracket's in, we got to put the tall vertical bracket just to the right of the leg. And then the other horizontal bracket that runs laterally along the fuselage gets put down at the bottom. I don't think we're going to get to see that, uh, but we'll see. So here I am trying to torque in that vertical bracket. So the vertical bracket is held in place by one big bolt and then I think two or three smaller bolts just like the vertical bracket to the left of the gear leg as well. Here I am torquing in the main bolt. That's one thing I've never talked about is using the torque wrench. So, you know, torque wrenches are great. Uh, the thing that surprises people the most is how little torque they actually have to put in uh, to meet what the, like, the AN torque values are. So, like, AN 3 bolt, you only have to torque that thing in to, like, 26 inch-pounds. Well, what's an inch-pound? An inch-pound is one-twelfth of a foot-pound. So, 26 inch-pounds is, like, 2.1 foot-pounds of pressure. That's not a lot. Right? Even A and 5, and I mean, only once you get to up to like A and 6 size, then you're starting to talk like 180 pounds of torque. Or, sorry, 180 pounds. 180 inch pounds. Which is like 30 regular pounds. Alright, so that leg is in. We're done with that. So what we're doing is we're going back and working on the battery box. I sort of started fiddling with this a little bit when we first started uh, doing the gear a few videos back. So the stock battery box location uh, we're, 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 all, we're putting a battery there, right? But we're putting an EarthX battery and I don't know what sizes people are using but I got the empty battery as you can see there and it did not fit in the standard Vans battery box that I received from Vans. So I've got the EarthX battery box. Problem is, is that it's too wide uh, and it doesn't fit. So what we had to do was first we had to fill in the rivet holes for the regular battery box and then we needed to go back and put nut plates in. So what we're doing here is we're putting on the engine mount and this is for real. So this is a permanent mounting of the engine mount. Again with the torque wrench because you got to get those things in tight. And so what we're going to do is we're going to wind up putting nut plates in. So there's four, eight, uh, actually I think I'm using size 8 or size 10. But we're just putting four nut plates in because the battery box comes with four holes drilled in it already. Which is good because that's how we will also mount the second battery box, which will come which will come later. So here I am. Oh, so okay, so this is permanently putting on the engine mount. There's nothing really special about this. Uh, there are two different thicknesses of washer to use, so make sure that you 
pay attention when you're doing that. I think there's 10 washers overall for six locations, or it's eight, it doesn't matter. Uh, the directions show you. But it's a simple torquing on of bolts, and then it's happy. So, all right. Uh, in the next video, which is coming out tomorrow, uh, it's either the it's either more gear or working on the battery box. So, thanks for joining me, and see you soon.